I only have this? I'm calling my dad. Oh, it's so greasy, sick. Wrong way. Oh, like this little graphic's gonna help me. Oops. Hi, my name is Preston Valdez. I'm a service technician at the McGrath Buick GMC Cadillac Service Department. Uh, today we're doing a little tutorial on uh, spare tire change. First things first, uh, we've already had the spare tire and tools out. Uh, typically located in the trunk of the vehicle. start off and uh, get the lug nuts loose on the wheel we're gonna address how are you supposed to do this oh come on after we got the wheel lug nuts loosened up uh, next thing is gonna be setting the jack on the vehicle uh, a couple safety notes on the jacking of the vehicle uh, first off, we want to make sure the vehicle's parking brake set to prevent any sort of rolling once the vehicle's up in the air. Parking brake on. Is what? Parking brake. Oh. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> We're going to try to find a flat, uh, level surface to keep this on. On the top side of the jack, we have a notch cut in the groove here that we're going to try to align with the vehicle's rocker panel that runs underneath the vehicle. So we're going to try to put this notch squarely underneath this rocker. Where's it go underneath? What? Oh, okay. Once we get the jack set underneath there, like I said, we want to make sure we're on a flat level surface and that the groove is actuated in the uh, rocker panel here. Then we're just going ahead and pick the thing up. We can use the same tool we use to loosen up the lug nuts to crank the jack up. Is it pumping it? No, I gotta screw it. Oh man, I went the wrong way. I'm gonna be here all day cranking it up. All right, once we get the vehicle high enough that the tire's completely off the ground, we're gonna come back through and loosen up the rest of the wheel studs completely. Is it up yet? No. And once we get all the wheel studs off it, we're going ahead and just pull the assembly off of there. We're going to take the spare tire here and just roll it over. We're going to have to line up the holes in the wheel with the holes on the lug here. Right, tidy. Left here, we'll see. Making sure that the wheel is flush with the rotor. Once we get almost started in hand, we're just going to take the wrench and work a star pad around the wheel studs and just snug them up. We're gonna go ahead and lower the vehicle back down. Duh. Ugh. No! I'm done. Once the vehicle is back down on its own weight, we're going to go one more time around the lug nuts and get a final tighten sequence on it. Again, just working around in a star pattern. <laughs> no. Uh, things that should be noted once we get the spare tire installed on the vehicle is that this is a temporary tire. 
Uh, and there is, it is noted here the max speed rating is 50 miles an hour. Uh, we should keep that in mind due to the smaller size of the tire that it can't handle the high speeds that a regular tire should uh, take. So at this point we want to make uh, sure you get to the nearest uh, service field and get that tire repaired or replaced that we removed. And that's basically the ins and outs of spare tire removal. Once again, this is Preston Valdez, service technician at McGrath Buick GMC Cadillac. Right, right. All right, I'll talk to you later then. Tires on. Woo! Except for the jack.